But, but you know, the, whether it's Christianity, whether it's Judaism, whether it's Islam, the three, the three big monotheistic religions, they are all about uh, control. Fun fundamentally, they're about control. And, and um, what happens when you admit that every individual may have direct contact with, with spirit worlds is that that controlling power is dis is evaporates like a puff of smoke. You don't need the structures anymore. You can, you can have your spiritual experiences directly. You don't need to be... One of the things that always strikes me is very odd about, <coughs> about mainstream religions is w whether it's Islam or Christianity or, or, or Judaism uh, is that uh, we receive the information package of that religion from our parents and from our culture. We are told this is how there is, things are, <clears throat> that there's one God, that if you behave in this way, you'll go to heaven. If you behave in this way, you'll go to hell. Uh, we're, we're, we're given a whole package of instructions and information, and we're expected just passively to accept that, and, and tragically, most of us do. Just accept it as absolute truth, even though we have had no experience whatsoever of that truth. So, you know, to take a current example, uh, the, the, the suicide bomber who straps an explosive belt around his or her waist <coughs> and, and goes and, and massacres uh, a few dozen people in, in a marketplace, that person really truly believes that they are going to go to a spirit world, to, to paradise, um, where they will be rewarded for their, for their actions. Now, how do they know that that's going to happen? They, they have no personal experiences that lead them to believe that. They've simply passively accepted it from the previous generation. And that's why I do, I do regard mainstream religions as a, as a terrible devolution of spirituality. Uh, because the, the fundamental birthright of, of every human being, I think, is, is to experience those other realms. That is our right. And that right is being withheld from us by the structures of mainstream religion, hand in glove with the economic structures of our society as a whole. So they're not going to accept it. They're going to fight against it, so tooth and nail, in every possible way. Uh, when I go into, as I do from, from, from time to time, into a, into a Christian church, and, and, and just, just sit there, what you, what you notice again is the absence of direct spiritual experience. The, that uh, people may be moved by the building, by the, by, by, by the music, but they're being taught a body of dogma, which is just being told to them as the truth. They're not being encouraged to explore those spirit realms themselves.